Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to welcome you to Regina Victory Church. I'm Pastor Terry Murphy, and uh, we're just excited about the wedding that's uh, about to take place. And I want to direct your attention to the back corner where something truly amazing is going to take place.
yours to hold I give myself to There you have it. Why don't you come to the front, the two of you right here. Just Lee, step forward a little bit. We're just going to, that's good. That's good. Well, dear family and friends, we've had quite an experience already, Lee and uh, Char. It's going to be exciting. Uh, we are here today at the invitation of Lee Andrew Harding and Charlotte Cynthia Sullivan and their families to share in the joy of their wedding. Today, we're going to witness a public expression of the love that they've carried for quite some time. In our culture, marriage has been devalued and degraded and turned into things that was never meant to be. But Lee and Shar want to embrace the fullness of God's plan for marriage to join their lives together. 
They have a desire to marry a God-fearing person, and each one of them loves the Lord, and we're excited about them coming together. We believe that together in marriage, they could become far more than they could individually as they join together, and with Jesus at the center of that, there's no limits on what you can do. Today, Lee and Charlotte desire to be united in the holy, sacred, and biblical relationship called marriage, and they've invited us to be witnesses to which we should be very thankful. So we're just going to pray, and then I'm going to ask you to be seated. Father, we just thank you for this opportunity to gather together, to experience the joining together of these two lives before you. And we just pray, Father, that everything that's said and done would glorify you here today as you join this couple together in Jesus' name. And everybody said, Amen. Amen. You can be seated. Well, I'm going to, here's the I do part. Now I know what to say. Now you know what to say. I'm going to ask you, and you can answer, I do at the end, if this is your, indeed your intention. Lee, Andrew Harding, do you here today intend to take Charlotte Cynthia Sullivan before God and this congregation of witnesses to be your wife, to live together in the holy covenant of marriage? If so, answer, I do. I do. <laughs> 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 so he's got to be a little comedy, eh? Yeah. Uh, Charlotte, Cynthia, Sullivan, are you sure? No, uh, do you here today intend to take Lee Andrew Harding before God and this congregation of witnesses to be your husband, to live together in the holy covenant of marriage? If so, answer, I do. Thank you. Well, I'm going to ask you to join me up on the platform here and face each other and join hands to express your vows of devotion and um, before this gathering and most importantly before uh, God. Lee, I'm going to ask you to repeat this vow to Charlotte saying after me, I, Lee Andrew Harding. I, Lee Andrew Harding. Oh, I'm supposed to have this out. I, Lee Andrew Harding. I gave him the mic, eh? <laughs> Take you, Charlotte Cynthia Sullivan. Take you, Charlotte Cynthia Sullivan. To be my wife. To be my wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. For richer or for poorer. For richer or for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love you. To love you. To cherish and comfort you. To cherish and comfort you. And forsaking all others. And forsaking all others. To be faithful to you. To be faithful to you. Until we are separated by death. Until we are separated by death. As God is my witness. As God is my witness. I give you this promise. I give you this promise. Now, Charlotte, I'm going to ask you to repeat after me to Lee. Might as well give her the mic, eh? It's equal here. That's know? right. That's right. <laughs> I, Charlotte Cynthia Sullivan. I, Charlotte Cynthia Sullivan. Take you, Lee Andrew Harding. Take you, Lee Andrew Harding. To be my husband. To be my husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. For richer or for poorer. For richer or for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love you. To love you. To cherish and comfort you. To cherish and comfort you. And forsaking all others. And forsaking all others. Be faithful to you. Be faithful to you. Until we are separated by death. Until we are separated by death. As God is my witness. As God is my witness. I give you this promise. I give you this promise. Isn't that beautiful? Now we're going to, you've chosen to uh, seal this promise with the, with the exchanging of rings. So that one's for you. And that one's for you. <laughs> Lee, will you take the ring and place it on Charlotte's ring finger and repeat after me this promise. With this ring. With this ring. I seal my promise. I seal my promise. To be your faithful and loving husband. To be your faithful and loving husband. With God as my witness. With God as my witness. Charlotte, will you take the ring and place it on Lee? I'll just hold it for you. Lee's ring finger and repeat this after me. With this ring. With this ring. I seal my promise. I seal my promise. To be your faithful and loving wife. To be your faithful and loving wife. With God as my witness. With God as my witness. There we go. There you go. Well, guys, I've been honored to officiate your wedding. Uh, and uh, I was thinking about this earlier. I've known you 28 years and a couple months. 
Char, we've known 15 years and uh, delighted. It's funny how our worlds come together. And uh, we look forward to knowing you for many, many more years, mm -hmm. but now as a married couple. I wanted to share a scripture with you on this wedding day. We looked at this last night. Uh, why the scriptures? Because the scriptures are the build the foundation for our lives. And if we will build our lives, our marriages, our families on scripture, uh, troubles will come. We said in the, in the vows, sickness and health, we're believing for health. That's right. Mm -hmm. Poverty or wealth, we're believing for wealth. Yes. Mm -hmm. But sometimes things happen, and uh, if you can build your life on the foundation of the Word, uh, you'll get through no matter what comes. Jesus said this in Matthew 7, 24 to 27. Anyone who listens to my teaching and follows it is wise, like a person who builds his house on a solid rock. And though the rain comes in torrents and the floodwaters rise and the winds beat against that house, it won't collapse because it is built on bedrock. But anyone who hears my teaching and does not obey it is foolish like a person who builds his house on sand. When the rains and the floods come and beat against that house, it will collapse with a mighty crash. And we just believe you've started knowing the Lord and working together to build a, a marriage. You've worked hard, both of you, to get things ready to be married. Mm -hmm. And as you continue to walk with God, we're believing for the best uh, in every situation and uh, it's just awesome. Well, we're going to have the signing of the register at this time, and uh, I'll just invite you to head on up there. The, the couple has also made the decision that they want to start their marriage by receiving communion together. Uh, in communion, we symbolize the death and resurrection of Christ until he comes, and so I'll just let you two do that. An ancient symbol in Judaism and, and Christianity has been the anointing with oil. And it symbolizes the coming of the Holy Spirit. It symbolizes a lot of things. And just to do this is just a religious rite. But to do it believing in your heart that God is truly going to be a part of this relationship and tie you together has all the meaning that you could hope for. So now in the name of the Father, the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit, I anoint them with oil. And Father, I pray that your Spirit would fill them and guide them and walk with them and unite them, that their lives would become a beautiful song where they're both singing harmonies and you're taking the lead. In Jesus' name, amen.
Well, I'm going to ask you if, if it is your custom, it's our custom around here to stretch out our hands and believe God for a blessing on their lives. So if you would, stretch out your hands towards this couple. Uh, Father God, we just thank you for Lee and Char, and we, we just thank you for the, the joy they bring to our lives and the joy that they bring to each other's lives. And I pray, Father God, that that joy would continue to grow in their relationship and that joy would spread uh, to their extended families and their children on both sides, Lord God, and that it would just be, uh, I just keep hearing the word harmony uh, over their lives, Lord God. I pray that that beautiful harmony would emerge in this family and through this couple and in this relationship. And Father, as you instructed uh, Moses and Aaron to pray over the people, I pray from number 624, the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face toward you and give you peace. And we pray this in the wonderful, beautiful name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Well, Lee and Shar, I've done everything I can do to stretch this out. But you've come before God and you've expressed your desire to be husband and wife in front of your family, in front of this crowd of witnesses. You've shown your love and affection by joining hands and exchanging rings and exchanging vows. You've fulfilled all the, pro all the requirements of the law, and so I can't drag it out anymore. I therefore, by the power vested in me, pronounce you husband and wife. Lee, you may kiss your bride. Now, after Lee and Char leave, there's going to be a, a brief time when they're apart, and you can, uh, after they come back in, you can meet them at the back. Uh, enjoy a time of fellowship. If you're not staying for supper, well, come and greet Lee and Char first. Uh, there'll be an open mic later on where you can tell funny stories or bless them, whatever you want to do. Uh, but uh, right now, I, I'm pleased to be able to present to you for the first time in the history of planet Earth. Mr. and Mrs. Lee Harding. It's electric. Can you see it? Can you feel it? The stream inside is still alive today. Yeah, we're on. 